It was raining out today when I heard this information. That Daisuke Sado, the dude that created High School of the Dead, passed away due to um, specific heart disease around age 52. Ari had a funeral and everything, and, and now we heard it uh, now. I'm not going to be on script for this because uh, I just really don't want this to be like too manufactured or anything like that to speak my mind on this dude. I'm saying dude so much because not just from High School to Dead, all the other works that he's created, though recently he made like some type of, worked on some fantasy novel thing, I believe, with some other artist. But most of his stuff is like the most Americanist thing you can think of alongside other people's works. That involved like high octane action and stuff. The dude was like a gun otaku at heart, just from all the detail he puts into the guns, and yeah, he's just an insane fanboy when it came to action. Yeah, I'm rambling off a little bit too much. Let me start with High School of the Dead though a little bit. Since now this dude's gone, um it's probably that's probably it. We're never gonna see High School of the Dead any continuation. Even after 2013, he just stopped after that. Maybe that was also the reason, like, due to a heart disease and that type of thing, then 2013, he just maybe immediately stopped after that, or maybe he just wasn't feeling it after certain pressures. It's just... There's a lot of stuff going on with it. Plus, I think he was working too much on Trig X, even though I found that one to be the... In comparison to High School of the Dead and Trig, uh, I preferred High School of the Dead over Trig X. Though it would have been funny if, like, he would have been able to make a crossover between the two. And also the sign of his death isn't also isn't also just a sign for High School of the Dead, but it's also for my worry of other creators that take way too long in making certain stuff, and then they just die. Like, what if this happens to Miura? What if this happens to the dude that made Vinland Saga? Like, 52 people, and... <sighs> but enough of me talking about the, the, the guy's passing. I might as well at, talk about why... This this creator basically got me back into anime. I know, it's friggin' funny. The dude that probably had the same passion of sexy girls as the dude that made the Nier Automata game was the person that got me back into anime. It, usually from 2006 and 2009, I had this... I, I created this, like, little uh, annoyance when it came to, like, tits and ass stuff. Oh, thank thankfully, the Strike Witches. Um... Man, just like a feminist and social justice warrior, I was just, like, enraged by it. I was like, enough of the sexiness for women. Like, they need to be covered up and that type of bullshit. So I went away from anime for a while until, um, roughly 2010 or 11, I believe? Roughly around the time when Sentai Filmworks announced the whole thing that they got High School to Dead and they were streaming it already. Um, funny for me, I watched it off YouTube, subbed, um, all the way. And this was probably the one that just made me tick. It just made me go, like... I can't beat it. I can't. I can't really fight over Japan's idea for having sexy women and that type of thing, and also for having to be so serious. And then it's contrasting with all the titillation you would usually see on screen. And I was just like, I can't beat it. And if I can't beat it, I might as well enjoy it, depending on like how it's used and such. And since it was like, this dude really knew how to like make it so crazy where it's just like I didn't care or anything like that. It was campy and I loved it. And then off a whim I decided to watch it dubbed. This was during a time where I went away from watching dubbed stuff. I grew up watching uh, dubbed anime on 4Kids. I despised it of course. And then I started embracing subs like a freaking sub purist until I... I don't know why. It's just I decided to watch it dubbed and I loved it. Stephen Foster. <laughs> Did a really good, really did good directing on it, and also the other actors. It just fits so well for me. All the actors felt like the characters. They fit the body language and all that kind of stuff. And that anime basically made me build on to my opinion on dubs and anime, and I'll constantly improve, of course. But and also that got my interest in Sentai Filmworks titles usually. So without Daisuke Sado, from deciding to draw tits and zombies on a piece of paper and put into a manga, then get Madhouse to do an anime for it, and then for Sentai to do it, do it I'm, I might have been a completely different person than I am right now. Like, maybe I would probably watch a different anime that got me back into dubs, maybe I would just still be crazy on disliking titles with tits and asses over serious stuff. My enjoyment, thanks to this dude, was made from him, which made me the man I am today, and that's the saddest thing about him being gone. Not only that, we don't get more High School of the Dead. Well, we might, but it won't have some of the 
sexiness charm because people just don't want to like step the boundary and like just see how crazy they could do it though maybe people like in platinum games could <laughs> now that i think about it maybe high school of the dead could be a platinum games title but <laughs> that's going off topic and also the sign of his death makes me worry about other manga artists that are probably taking too much time working on their titles like maybe they died behind our backs and we're just now waiting for a, the announcement of them to just plop dead on their writing desk. It's a lot of mix of emotions after this announcement, which just made me just want to speak my mind on this thing, no script, and also to mention that this dude really helped me make me become the anime fan I am. He made me respect action shows with sexy stuff, he made me respect sexy stuff with action stuff. And the coincidence that happened after that title made me respect dubs again. It made me feel okay with R1 anime corporations. And I'll always respect that. I'll always thank Daisuke Sato for that. Along with his other titles. Uh, after his death, I think I just might as well go and look at his other works too now. And I think you guys and gals should too. What has High School of the Dead done to you? Like, what has, has his work other than High School of the Dead done to you? Leave your likes in the comments below. Sorry if this is a little bit of a Debbie Downer type thing, but I think that's what it should be right now for a bit. Maybe next week, I'll probably be more happy about it. I'll be making another video also this week, but after this announcement, it's gonna get pushed uh, forward a little bit more. I did get the recording for that one done, but I just wanted to speak my mind on this. Rest in peace, Daisuke Sato. Uh, thank you for everything. Thank you for listening to the opinion of an Avjaspi. Jaspi.